Okay, let's go. that in Canada you can have a gun but you can never use it in self-defense no matter what you can never raise a gun to another person in Canada for any for any reason someone breaks into your house uh, with an axe and they're swinging at you and your family you cannot shoot them or I mean I guess you can shoot them but then you're you're gonna go to jail and be arrested for it you cannot use one for self-defense and that's the way we're moving here in the uh, in all these blue states so just think about that for a minute. Having a gun just means you get to have a gun. But you can never use a gun. So uh, just let that brew. Think about what that means to you. There are debates. And we have a, a, a culture where the difference is guns can be used for hunting or for sport shooting in Canada. And there are lots of gun owners. And they're mostly law respecting and, and, and law abiding. But you can't use a gun for self-protection in mm -hmm. Canada. That's not a right that you have in the Constitution or anywhere else. If you try and buy a gun and say it's for self-protection, no, you don't get that. You get it for hunting. You can get it for sport shooting. You can take it to the range. Uh, no problem, as long as you go through our rigorous background checks. But there's a difference around the culture. And one of the things that we're yeah. seeing with the debate in the States is you get more and more of the American-style, you know, right-to-carry, self-defense arguments filtering up through through the uh, you know the, the usual more right-wing communications channels yeah